Greg Voigt writes, hey guys, what is the most deliberately deceptive marketing campaign you have ever seen? Not bad marketing campaigns like Edge of Tomorrow, but campaigns that were meant to make people believe the movie was something other than it was to get people to see a movie. There are lots of films that that are mildly guilty of this. I remember, I can't remember which Mission Impossible, whether it was two or three, but the one with Anthony Hopkins. I mean, so that, that one was like, you watch the trailer to that Mission Impossible, half of that trailer is Anthony Hopkins. Uh, like either his voice or him on screen. That's why it's not Mission Difficult, Mr. Hunt. It's Mission Impossible. It's number three, I think. Is it yeah, three? It's either two or three, second, yeah. Right? And he's in the movie for like two scenes, mm -hmm. a, for a minute at the beginning and a minute at the end. Deceptive. But the most truly egregious example of this I have ever seen with a film is actually a Disney film. And I adore <laughs> our friends at Disney. But The Bridge to Terabithia was the most deceptive ad campaign I have ever seen. The irony is it's a quite a good movie, The Bridge of Terabithia. But here's the thing. You watch the ads for The Bridge of Terabithia. You think you're getting a... Uh, Chronicles of Narnia, uh, kind of mixed with a little bit of Harry Potter, kind of mixed. With, it's you watch a trailer. Say, oh, it's a movie about this fantasy land. These two little children find this fantasy land. And it's about their adventures in this world of fantasy. It has nothing to do with that. It's about death and loss. And it's like it's it's a completely different, darkly toned, very good movie. Ironically, but it is a totally different film from the ones that the marketing department at, at uh, Disney presented us. It is by far to me the most egregious, guilty example of, of deceptive marketing I've ever seen. Amy, Amy Rose, what stands out to you about some misleading marketing? Godzilla. I thought Godzilla would be in the movie. Mm. <laughs> good, good one. Kind yeah. of thought, you know, movie called Godzilla. That's no, true. It was like four <laughs> seconds of Godzilla, and every time there was about to be some action, it would cut away to a kid watching it on TV eating chips or something. <laughs> or you're inside, like, look, the nurses are changing the, some kids' diapers. I remember, I was like, where's Godzilla? Why are you cutting away from Godzilla? And they did it like eight times. That's when I, then I just started, stopped liking the film, like the eighth time. I know he broke the creature's mouth open and breathed fly. It was like, that was cool. But that was like a little too late. But it was you know, 15 minutes of cool in yeah, a two-hour movie. Yeah, it could have been. Well, you know, I was even saying just four minutes more of the monster would have just made that film. Just four little yeah. minutes. Uh, for me, obviously, everyone knows we're going to crack on Amazing Spider-Man 2, the trailer, and then what we got was Batman and Robin. But, you know, another <laughs> an interesting one is The Counselor. I'll bring that up oh. as far as, like, great mm. trailers, an incredible cast, an amazing writer, a fantastic director, and then what happened to this movie? It's garbage. It's horrible. It's an endurance test to even sit through. Gangster I, Squad. Same thing. Yeah. Like uh, Ruben Fleischer, as... Zombieland. I was like, he is making all his, you know, cast members watch the best gangster right. films of all time. And then, wah, wah, wasted such know, a cast. I, yeah, I wouldn't call those deceptive, though. Because I thought the those trailers just looked amazing. Trailers that make it look good and ends up being bad. But, but they were trailers... For that movie, no, but I'm like a bridge to Terabithia, but it was selling totally something different. else. I the, thought, but oh, the, I that's thought true. Counselor, that it was deceptive because they made it seem like one kind of a movie, and then when yeah. you watch yeah. it, yeah, it it's totally right. a different film and boring and horrible. So yeah. it was like I don't even know. I'd have to rewatch that trailer. To, what is, what is it exactly that they deceptively tricked me into thinking that this would be a good movie? So and your Godzilla example is, is a really good one too because it's much like that Anthony Hawkins example. Yeah. It's <laughs> like <laughs> look, Godzilla's in the trailer, yeah. but he's not in the movie. <laughs> not really. You're gonna watch people walk around and talk about stuff for a really long time.